Well, now there are millions of parents and grandparents in this country who may be reluctant to show their children affection in public for fear they'll be labelled a dirty old man. Some of these innocent men have been questioned, even detained by police while going about their parental duties. As James Thomas reports, it highlights a growing trend where all men are considered potential predators. A lady takes photos by the kid's pool. No one bats an eyelid. She's harmless. But what happens when a man does the same thing? We had a report that someone fitting your description was taking photos of kids up here. It's this whole thing that men are guilty until they're proven innocent, and that's really wrong. An airline passenger is asked to move from children on a plane. He's done nothing wrong, except he's a man. And I said to her, isn't that discrimination? On planes, in classrooms, by pools. Men are being typecast in a role no one wants to be known for. Not every guy in society is a pedophile, um, and to be viewed that way is, is a massive injustice. On a flight to Sydney, passenger John McGurr says that Virgin Airlines treated him like a sexual predator. A stewardess came up and she said, I'm going to have to ask you to move. I said, um, why? And she goes, because you're not allowed to sit next to children because you're a male. It's a bit sexist, isn't it? Uh, it's just our policy to not have males sitting next to unaccompanied minors. And she walked up the aisle trying to find um, a, a female to ask to swap with me. By that time, people had looked around and... Yeah, how did it make you feel? Uh, like I'd done something wrong, uh, defenceless as well. On the face of it, the policy certainly does seem to be discriminatory. It's aimed particularly and only at men. Barrister David Galvalee. I think the Sex Discrimination Commissioner should act on this immediately and shouldn't let it continue. Virgin declined an on-camera interview. In a statement, they say their policy is based on customer feedback and is common to many airlines. However, in light of the John McGurr complaint, Virgin are in the process of finalising a new policy, pending the outcome of a formal risk assessment. One solution basically is to keep the seat free. So males or females can't sit there, but the reason that Virgin don't do that is because it's a seat they can't sell. In view of the statistics, John sees Virgin's policy as illogical. A lot of the time the male perpetrators are known to, to the child. According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, 30.2% of child sex abuse is perpetrated by a male relative. The least likely is a stranger at 11.1%. So basically, a virgin would have to say to any, any father or, or uncle, I'm sorry, you're not allowed to sit next to your child. The suspicion that because I'm a male, I'm, actu I'm actually, their child is at some risk, offends me. Steve Badger runs one of the country's most successful swim schools. He fears that political correctness is scaring men out of his industry. One of the kids that I had encouraged to become a swimming teacher said to me this morning that he's actually given up, to it, up on becoming a swimming teacher because he didn't want an occupation where he felt like he was under constant scrutiny about the way that he was handling himself with children. The governing authority, Ostswim, now trains teachers to ask permission every time a child in a class needs to be held or touched. I have yet to be convinced that any of these measures have actually ended up in protecting one extra child. Just on beat one. And in the classroom, male teachers are becoming an endangered species. There's nothing more important than educating the next generation and we should have our brightest and best, both men and women, doing that work. Norm Hart is the president of the Australian Primary Principals Association. It is the fear of litigation, of being judged, of uh, having people think that you have ulterior motives for, for the work that you do, that, that makes people, or particularly young men, say, well, that is not the profession for me, I'll think about doing something else instead. The consequences of the idea that all men are predators is so damaging. Dr Karen Brooks is a professor of cultural studies. She believes that society risks alienating men on a wide scale. Gender discrimination against men in our society does exist and we see it in multiple forms. Now, back to those actors we hired to take photos by the children's pool at the beach. The woman loitered for close to half an hour without any interruption. It was a different story with our male actor. First, a protest from a beachgoer. And then some polite questions. So uh, you wouldn't have any problem with me checking your shots here? No, not at all. Of course, there were no photos because it was all a stunt to make a point.
What a terrible thing to do to, to our, our young men, you know, to do to our brothers, our nephews, our husbands, our, our lovers, you know, dreadful. Let, let, let's stop it. James Thomas reporting there.